What's going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters in the body of Messiah? Shabbat Shalom. Happy Sabbath to everybody. I hope everybody is having a blessed Sabbath. This is Walking by Faith, and uh, I'm coming to make this video to speak about um, something that I found very disturbing, to say the least. doesn't surprise me. But yet, I still found it kind of disturbing all at the same time. There is a well-known YouTuber on this platform named Robert Breaker who made a video uh, and gave a lesson and a breakdown on why the Bible says that... Um, why, why, why the Bible shows or, or, or says that there will be a pre-tribulation rapture. Now, let me make, let me put a disclaimer out here first. By no, no, by no ways am I attacking this man or uh, putting him down. But um, at the same token, he is another liar. Okay. There is no secret rapture. Okay, just like you're not just like you're not once saved, always saved. Okay, now I noticed I, it's funny because his video popped up in my video feed as recommended. And um, so I clicked on it. And um, one thing I noticed about his video is that he he had he had his video layered with a bunch of ads. OK, not only that, but he has close to a quarter of a million subscribers, 200,000 subscribers. OK, now this goes back to the videos that I said uh, uh, that I've, I've said before, where where uh, rap, us preaching about the rapture is profitable. And um, in all honesty, this man, this man is making money off of that off of that video and I'm pretty sure other videos that he's he has made okay um he's he's not he's not doing it he's not doing it for the glory of father and he's not doing it um to edify the church he's doing it for his own financial and personal gain and for filthy lucre which which the bible said uh would happen in the last days or just in general that people will um they'll either cherry pick scriptures or they'll preach about the secret rapture where some uh, a select group of people will will be whisked out of here while the rest of us will be here for tribulation um that's a lie this man i don't know this man personally but just the fact that he's pushing preacher rapture or rapture in general it makes me sick to my stomach. It really makes me sick to my stomach. You know, um, I probably got through, through like maybe five minutes of his video and then I had to shut it off because it started to uh, break my it, it started to break my heart. Not only did it break my heart, but it grieved my heart and it made me um it made my heart heavy, you know, um, but nevertheless, so this might be a lengthy video. I'm going to try to get through it as fast as I can, but uh, I have a few passages of the scriptures that I want to read out of. And uh, in the process of me reading out of these scriptures, I'm going to give you a breakdown. So um, kick back, put your feet up, grab yourself some popcorn. And a, and a soda or some tea or coffee and uh, let's begin. So I'm going to be reading out of Matthew 24 starting at verse 4 going through 15. And Messiah answered, now mind you, this is where, this is where, uh, the uh, uh, the disciples came to him in private and asked him what um, what will be um, the signs of the of the end or of his coming. And so 
he he's uh, talking to his disciples in these passages of scripture. And Messiah answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Now, anybody who push, pushes rapture for filthy lucre because it, because it is profitable, um, they're deceiving many and they will be held accountable for it uh, one day. And there's going to be a lot of blood on their hands for all the people that's following them that they're that they're pushing this lie to. And Messiah answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Messiah and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall ye, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many all these people who are uh, pushing the once saved always saved or this quote-unquote harpazo or secret rapture they're false teachers and false prophets and because iniquity shall abound um, or, or sin will abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That means that people's heart will wax cold. They will, they will, uh, they, they will, uh, they will, um, they will partake in lawlessness and, um, they'll be without natural affection. they will be backbiters, whispers, and, um, covenant breakers and and all those other things which which i believe that's in timothy uh but nevertheless but he that shall in that but he that shall endure until the end the same shall be saved now that is that was 13 and i'm going to read that again but he that shall endure until the end the shame the same shall be saved there's multiple passages of scripture where, where Messiah clearly states that we have to endure until the end. So this whole harpazo of secret rapture is a lie straight from the pits of hell. It, 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 it is very lucrative. You can make money off of it and you will gain a lot of subscribers and you will make a lot of money pushing that false narrative or that false message or that false uh teaching which is what mr robert breaker here is doing that's why he had that that particular video layered with ads because he made i'm pretty sure he made a, a ton of money off of that continuing and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for the witnesses unto the nations. And then shall the end come when ye therefore shall be shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Now, um, what? Daniel the prophet was speaking of was the the son of perdition or uh the uh, uh uh Satan where he stands in the third temple or or he stands in a place where he has no business standing therefore causing the abomination of desolation and he will um make himself out to be father and he will exalt himself to be a father And now we're going to flip over into verse um, Matthew 24, verses 29 through 35. 
Well, actually, no. We'll we'll go. Yeah, we'll go 29 through 35. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from the heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in the heavens. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and glory. Now, the Bible is not talking about no secret rapture. The Bible is talking about Messiah's second coming, which will be a worldwide event where everybody will see it. Where all when when the clouds roll out and we see Messiah coming on his horse with all his saints behind him, okay, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Messiah is Lord. This will be a worldwide a event. There will not be no secret rapture where where uh, where where uh, angel where the angels will come down and whisk you up, and then you get your uncorruptible, glorified body, and then you and then you see uh, clothes uh, coming back down to the ground. That's a lie. There is no rapture. There's only Messiah's second coming. Continuing, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together the elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When, when his branch is yet tender and put forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. So a lot of pro there's a lot more prophecy that needs to be fulfilled before Messiah comes back. Now we are seeing uh, earthquakes in diverse places and famines and pestilences and everything else. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Now we're going to flip over into 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 or chapter 3 verses 1 through 13. This is where this is where Paul is praying for believers to grow in their faith for the Lord. Now, Father himself and, and, and our Lord Messiah direct our way unto you. And the Lord make you to, incre to increase and abound in love one, to, uh, one toward another. And toward all men, even as we do towards you. To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before Father at the coming of Messiah with all his saints. And now we're going to go into chapter 4 verses 13 through 18. Now this is this is the uh, this is this uh, this is talking about the sequence of the resurrection and the second coming of Messiah. Not the secret, not no secret man-made uh, uh, doctrine of the of the harpazo or of the rapture. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Messiah died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Messiah will Father bring with him for this we say unto you by the word of the lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord shall not prevent them that are asleep for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and with the trump of father and the dead shall 
The dead and Messiah shall rise first. Then we that are alive will be caught up in the air together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. It said, it said the trump of father, right? Now, a, a lot of the rapture pushers like to use this, these passages of scripture out of context to, to, to fit or to cherry pick to fit the message that they are trying to convey about the secret rapture that's that, that's not speaking about the, the secret rapture okay this is speaking about messiah's second coming okay and for those who are pushing this message they will give an account one day okay A as per revelations 22 which i'm going to go ahead and flip over to that real quick because if these people do not repent and if they don't stop lying this is what's going to happen to them. For I testify unto every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, father shall add unto them the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book of the prophet of this prophecy, father shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Okay. So as per revelations 22, if you add to father's living word or if you subtract from it, then your name your name, not only are, are you going to be plagued with the plagues that are in this book, but your name is going to be blotted out of the book of life when you stand in front of Messiah and Father God on the day of judgment. It's going to be blotted out. But uh, let's continue. We're going to flip over to Titus 1 verses 6. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I'm missing something here. Y'all bear with me. Um, yeah, we're going to go Titus 1, 6 through 9. If any be blameless, the husband... Of one wife having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of father, not self-willed, not soon to anger, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre. And Mr. Robert Breaker and all those who are pushing these messages and have their have their um their channels monetized or or they have a a stack of ads on on their uh on their videos that's what they're doing they're doing it for filthy lucre they're not doing it for the glory of father they're doing it for their own glory and they're doing it for their own uh uh monetary uh gain or for filthy lucre But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful words as he hath taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and convince gainsayers. Mr. Robert Breaker and all those who are pushing once saved, always saved or rapture, that's not sound doctrine. 
But instead, they're cherry picking scriptures to push that message for filthy lucre. And they will be held accountable and there will be a lot of blood on their hands for all those people who they have following them and that, and, and that they are leading astray and, and lying to. And then we're going to uh, go even further. We're going to go uh, Titus 1, 10 through 16. This is where Paul is speaking about uh, rebuking false teachers. For there are many unruly and vain, vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre sake. I'm going to read that again. Whose mouths must be stopped and subvert whole houses teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre sake. That's what Mr. Robert Breaker is doing. He's teaching this, this fake false rapture for filthy lucre's sake. I don't feel the need. I don't feel the need to bring in uh, 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 John Nelson Darby into this. Okay. Even though, even though, even though he, he was uh, the, the person that was responsible for coming up with this man-made doctrine to begin with. Nevertheless, one, one of them's even a pro a prophet of their own said the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Once saved, always saved, saved is turning from the truth and they are not of, they are not sound in faith. But instead, they're given into Jewish fables and and commandments of of, of man-made doctrines. Unto the pure, all things are pure and unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know father, but. In works, they deny him being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Mr. Robert Breaker and all these people that are preaching the rapture are heretics. They're false teachers. They're liars. And they're and they're not doing Father God's work. They're doing their daddy's work. They are doing Lucifer's work. And then we're going to flip over into second Peter. Chapter one verses 16 through 21 for we have not followed cunningly devised fables which when made known unto you the power and the coming of the lord messiah but were eyewitnesses of his majesty for he received from father the honor and glory when there came such a voice of him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And his voice, which came from the heaven, we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto the light that shineth in a dark place until the day of dawn and the day star arise in your hearts, knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of 
private interpretation. I'm going to read that one again. Knowing first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of father spake as though they were moved by the Holy Ghost. All these people... All these people that are pushing once saved, always saved, or pushing this harpazo or seeker rapture, they're not being moved by the Holy Spirit. And if, and if they claim to be being moved by the Holy Spirit, they are a liar, and the truth is not in them, nor is Father or Messiah. But instead, they, they are of the counterfeit spirit, the kundalini spirit. And... And then, um, if you go, uh, if you go into the uh, next chapter of Second uh, Peter chapter two, verses one through twenty-two, it will, it will, um, it will give you a a breakdown on what's going to happen to false teachers. I'm not going to read this passage of scripture because, because. Um, I don't want to make the video any longer than it needs to be. So I'm only covering key points, but at your own leisure, read 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 through 22, and it will tell you what's going to happen to false teachers and what's going to happen to people who are, are doing are pushing messages for their own uh, personal gain or filthy lucre or for monetary, monetary uh, 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 status. And you can take it a step further and and go into Second uh, Peter chapter three, verses one through eighteen. That's that's speaking of that uh, uh, that chapter or that passage of scripture is speaking of of uh, the coming day of, of of Messiah. To take it a step further, so you can you can read uh, you can read the whole chapters of two and three as well. Now we're going to flip over into Revelations. Chapter 1 where where John John is uh recording and giving an account and the testimony of Messiah. But I'm going to read uh, Revelations 1, 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Okay. So that passage of scripture said that every eye will see him coming from the clouds. There's not going to be no secret rapture where 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 where, where, where the, the saints or the angels are going to come and whisk us up out of here. That is a lie straight from the pits of hell. When Messiah comes back, it is going to be a, a a whole worldwide event where everybody is going to see it because when he comes, when he comes, he's going to come with 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 with, with glory. And when he comes, Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Messiah is Lord. There is not going to be no secret rapture. And then and then if you take the time to study, if you take the time to study from chapter from Revelations chapter two. All the way through to, to chapter four, this is where this is where Messiah is speaking to the seven churches. And um, if you take the time to read it, 
every er, in 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 every letter that was sent to the church, it speaks about overcoming. It doesn't speak about a harpazo or a secret rapture. Like for instance, uh, uh, when 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 he was speaking to the church of Ephesus, it says. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of Father. It says overcome. It doesn't say harpazo. And then again, and, and mind you, I've, I've said this in multiple videos. When something is said more, more than twice, it's a confirmation. If it's said more than three times, it is a witness. And then again, when, when he was talking to the church of, uh, of, of Pergamos, it says it again. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat the hidden manna. And will give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth. So that's twice. So that's the confirmation right there. And then he's speaking to the church of Tyatira, I believe. In verse 26, it says it again. He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him I will give power over all nations. So that there you go. That's three times that that's that's three times three different letters to all the churches where it says he that overcomes. Okay? Not um he who he who gets harpotsoed out of it, out of here or raptured out of here or caught up in the air and then and then it says it again to in a letter to the church of Sardis he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. That's the fourth time. So you're getting a lot of witnesses here right now. It, it says overcometh or endure to the end. Not get hard pot sold out of here. And then speaking to the church of Philadelphia, he says it again. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my father, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my father and the name of the city of my father, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my father. And I will write upon him a new name. He just he just said a new name in, in in one of the other letters. So there you go. There's another confirmation right there. And then speaking to uh, to the church of Lady Osea, to him that overcometh or endure, will I grant a seat to me, or grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame. And am set down with my father in his throne. So to all seven churches and because we are the church. Okay, we are the church. We are the saints. It said clearly that we that overcome and endure to the end will get a new name. And will be and will reign with Messiah and sit next to him on his throne next to Father God. So nowhere in the nowhere in the Bible does it speak about a rapture. Nowhere. This is this is a this is um this is a message that man has been has been using 
from the beginning of time, ever since, ever since this man-made doctrine was made up, and when they found out how profitable it was and how much money they can make off of it, they ran with it. It goes back to it goes back to all these other all these other um, preachers who started out with humble beginnings and then and and then sold out or fell off the the, the straight and narrow path at one point and started preaching the prosperity gospel and getting into televangelists uh, and and all the rest of that using. Father's word to make money and using the gift and the anointings that father bestowed upon them for filthy lucre or to make money. Look at T.D. Jakes. Look at Joel Osteen. Look at all these people who have million dollar mansions, drive around in, in, in Rolls Royces and Bentleys, have 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 books out and and um have private jets and all the rest of these things while their communities that their church is in are, are suffering and can't pay, pay, make rent or, or, or support their families because, oh, if you sow a thousand dollars into the ministry in seven days, you'll get a blessing. There are multiple people out here that are using Father God's word for money. Just like this man Robert Breaker here is doing. Pushing this rapture message that is a false and untrue, unsound doctrine or message. Like I said, if you if you go and look at that video where he says that preacher rapture is in the Bible, he has ads upon ads stacked up on that video. He is he is making money off of that. And he got a lot of views off of that as well. He is a false teacher. And he is a liar. I don't know this man. But again, he is a liar. And the truth is not in him. He is not doing it for Father God's glory. He's doing it for his own glory. And for, and for filthy lucre. Brother, you need to repent. Repent. You need to repent because if you don't, if you don't repent and turn away from this trash that you are pushing, you will be held accountable when you stand in front of Messiah. Messiah will look at you and he will examine you and he will tell you, flee from me, you evil worker of iniquity. I never knew you. You need to repent, brother, and turn away from this trash that you're pushing because if you don't, a lot of blood is going to be on your hands and you will give an account for that one day. And I don't know about you personally, but I do not want to fall in the hands of the living father. I don't want to be on the receiving end of his wrath because I've been chastised by him. He has literally bent me over my knee and painted my back porch red. And trust me, just being chastised by him does not feel good. It hurts. So if just being chast chast chastised by him hurts, I definitely don't want to be on the receiving end of his wrath. Brother, I beseech you to stop, even though I know you're not going to. Because it's profitable what you're pushing, and I'm pretty sure you're making a lot of money off of it. I beseech you to stop and repent because if you don't, I feel sorry for you. So with that being said, I hope you like the message. And as always, I love you as all my brothers and sisters in Messiah. Father loves you. Father bless you. Father keep you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.